Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Trey Gowdy and it's Sunday night in America. Brian Mast is a congressman from Florida who walked to the well of the House this week to deliver a nominating speech for Kevin McCarthy. It was a reminder of the difference between fame and notoriety. Fame is the byproduct of doing something good, something sacrificial, serving a higher cause. True fame is like an honorable exchange. We give you attention because you earned it. It's our way of rewarding courage and virtue. Notoriety, on the other hand, is being well-known but without the good. Notoriety is being known simply for being known. Notoriety craves attention but without sacrifice, without hard work, without merit. Walking to the well of the house floor doesn't usually capture our attention. Most of us take walking for granted, but not Brian Mast. Not since he lost his legs in service to our country. And I guess what really captured my attention is that he didn't have to do what he did. He could have stayed where he was among his colleagues and delivered the same speech. Most speakers did not walk to the well. They stayed where they were, but Brian walked to the front of the people's house because he wanted to look his colleagues, his friends, his teammates, as he called them, in the eye. Face to face, he delivered an impassioned plea for his colleagues to stop talking and start doing. Stop the performance and start the progress. Stop talking about fighting and actually find something worth fighting for. Stop seeking attention and start seeking results. Stop squandering this gift of leadership. They've been given by the American people. He wondered why some Republicans saved their harshest words for one another. And while he didn't say this out loud, I'm sure he wondered, as perhaps you do too, why every single Republican, every single one of them, voted for Kevin McCarthy for speaker on the very same day, on that very same House floor, two years ago. What changed? Why was McCarthy fit to lead two years ago, but not this week? What happened over the course of those two years to lead some of his colleagues to change their votes? Some, no doubt, were motivated by deeply held convictions about the way the House operates. Why those changes could not have been negotiated, worked on, agreed to last week or last month or last year, I don't know. Why it had to take place on national television, I don't know. I do know this, it's a gift to be trusted to lead, especially when the country is facing so many challenges, when so many Americans think the country is headed in the wrong direction, when so many have lost confidence in the institutions we used to rely on. Challenges abound. We have met those challenges in the past, most often with women and men who humbly served and sacrificed, and in return for their service and sacrifice, we remember their names and we honor them with fame. There is and hopefully will always be a difference between fame and notoriety. Fame would be a fitting gift for a Florida congressman, a husband, a father, a veteran who gets up every morning, puts on prosthetic limbs, sees the real scars of real fights and goes to work with humility for the betterment of our country. Notoriety, on the other hand, gets up at around noon, checks his social media feeds, and puts on some makeup for the camera. The names we know and the ones we do not. It says a lot about our culture, our politics, and sometimes it says something about us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.